Hi and welcome to Trial by Fire of Nothadar Silicon Toys. The stove top is preheated to about 300 degrees Celsius, which is at the top of the temperature range for silicon. And I'll be doing off a melt test first. If it doesn't stick to the surface or otherwise change its shape or form, the test is passed. As you can see, the difference between the stove top and the silicone itself is about 100 degrees Celsius, so it doesn't conduct much heat. Just by looking at it, it looks fine. You can see a little crater there, which I don't think were there before, but otherwise it doesn't melt and looks okay. Just checking that the stove is still the right temperature before I try the ovipositor. And yeah. It's not sticky. And the color doesn't change. The shape stays the same, so it looks fine to me. Let me just check the temperature of the stove real quick before we go for the tentacle. Yeah. Just looking for the right spot here. So it seems good. No color change and no visible surface damage. It looks like we're clear for a direct flame test now. Let me just turn off the stove. To pass the flame test, the silicone shouldn't catch fire and it should extinguish itself right after the flame is removed. There is some crackling noise, but as soon as I remove the flame, it stops and the part I burned doesn't feel sticky, which is a good thing. So let's try another part. By the way, if you know why it crackles under the flames, please tell me, I'm interested. Some more sound effects and you can see the white ash is being formed. This part also extinguishes itself immediately after I remove the flame. And the white ash is pretty easy to remove, it just wipes off. And this is pretty much exactly what you'd expect from a product that is made of silicone. Let's do one more just for good measure. The white residue starts forming on the thinner part of the details and then just spreads to the rest of it. There is some crackling noise, but it stops as soon as I remove the flame and uh, the silicone doesn't stay lit. Same here, wipes off pretty easily. So if their phone holder, which isn't supposed to be body safe, is doing fine, I expect all the other toys to be fine as well. But let's test them anyways. So up next is Audrey 2 of Epositor size M. You can hear the same crackling noise, but as soon as I remove the flame, the silicone extinguishes and just leaves a bit of a white residue. It doesn't feel sticky, it's like nothing changed at all and the white residue is pretty easy to wipe off. I don't know, it looks pretty fine to me. The structure seems unchanged and I can't really tear or peel off a piece. So it's probably fine, but still we can burn it some more. Doesn't look like it's making much of a difference though. Just like last time, self extinguishes fast. Nothing but white hash. 
and the surface doesn't turn sticky. Looks fine to me. So far everything has been good, all the toys passed, but I'm leaving the best for last. It's tentacle time now, just trying to find the best spot to test it on. I'll apply the flame right on the edge here where the two colors meet so we can check both of them at once. Having the lighter on the side here is a bit harder to keep in place. So it's the same crackling noise that we've already heard here with other things. A puff of white smoke and a bit of white residue. Just what you would expect here. Both colors seem pretty much the same and it wipes off easily. Also it looks like some tiny craters have formed on the part of the silicone which I applied the flame to. But otherwise it seems fine. I don't know why the craters are there, maybe because it's soft type of silicone. There's nothing else to note and I consider this test passed. <laughs>